Hi there, Capricorn. Thank you so much. This is your December read. Um, comma for tuning in and for hitting like button on this video. I hope you're all doing well. So let's jump into it and see what we're looking at. That's great timing. No, you're you're right on. You're right on time. So yeah, for for the big uh, yeah, I'm here in um, I'm here in firing. Ooh. So, well, let me say this first. I was meditating on your energy, dear Capricorn, and yeah, I was getting that there is something that you're very ready to do. It's like I'm hearing, I was hearing, I'm ready. Some of you here, uh, you're going to finally possibly call something out. Some of you, though, this is someone you're going to hear from. This could be someone around you uh, who wants to finally, okay, um, hash things out. Okay, they feel that you are owed an explanation as well. Okay, they feel like it's finally time and that, you know, I mean, why wouldn't they? It's sort of like at this point of possibly embarrassment even, like it's been a little, just a little too long. So let's jump in. Cleaning up from the Virgo read. Some of you may hear back from a Capricorn from a long time ago. Okay, whether it's welcomed or not, that's another story. But I'm getting that at least like you will have possibly closure with this person. Let's clear the energy up. They maybe are going to even confess something to you. They possibly have been stalking you. I'm hearing Virgo. It could be a Virgo, and they could be uh, a Capricorn. Some of you, they feel it's time. Like, they're feeling ready. Like, it's a good time for them to talk. You could also be a, a Queen of Cups. And there could be a Capricorn here who's, like, uh, really obsessive about you, actually, and not in a good way. Yeah, this person, uh, for some of you, they're going to reveal that they haven't let you go. Some of you here, this is someone who wants a new beginning with you. Some of you a past life soulmate, and they're going to shoot their shot with you. They could be a Virgo as well. Or, uh, I feel you are the Virgo. Like, they've taken a lot of time. Some of you to get to know you. Maybe you guys have been friends for a long time, and then they want to finally, like, let things proceed. Okay, it's, like, getting ridiculous already. I heard, like, that. Oh, yeah, 10 of It's, like, it's about time, basically. You could be a Sagittarius. I'm hearing rising sun or moon. You could be in the limelight as well, or you could be a teacher. I see that. You have a, like a big audience even is what I hear with the five of pentacles. Yeah, this person even wants to say sorry to you. They, they want to clarify things. Now be careful for people who return during Mercury retrograde, especially given that it's Mercury retrograde, um, more or less, yeah return it in this in this one yeah this person has really fallen in love with you and they they, they feel that they have they have to like kind of start getting more vulnerable otherwise it's like they feel behind that this wouldn't this wouldn't be happening in a way that makes sense so uh it's kind of like saying you know that the the, the shakespeare movie needs to be 25 minutes longer it's like why it's like just because why they maybe feel they've been avoiding you again we have the devil oh my god with the queen of cops so I mean, this person has been sort of like fucking around and like kind of avoiding you or like avoiding this and like they're gonna make a move. If, in that case, they may have a lot of Virgo. And in which case, please go check out the Virgo reading. But yeah, they've been also silently holding on to you from a distance. They don't want you to make the mistake of thinking that they don't actually want a future with you. Hey, Isaac, can you stop barking, please? No barking. Or I'm gonna put you in the playpen. Yeah, it seems this person, like, well, they're, they're trying to get to know you, I'm even hearing that, and they feel like it's almost like not working or something, okay? They feel they need to take maybe even a different approach. So let's get a little bit more. Some of you, they really um, find you very attractive and very alluring. Yeah, they're very physically turned on. Uh, there's a tipping point here where they're going to make that move and towards you. Some of you, there's a bit of competition around you as well. Okay, so there could be a radioactive X. Yeah, death card. Could be dealing with a shadow Scorpio who just can't handle the thought that you'd be moving on. Uh, they could be stalking you and your new person. The devil, there we go. Some of you here, they've even trying to do little weird spells to try and break you up with this person. Wow, eight of swords, what a weirdo. Huh? Yeah, thought projecting, eight of swords. It's considered black magic and it's very karmic. Three of cups, by the way, you cannot separate chosen, chosen people from chosen people that just... That's not your domain, but uh, yeah, thanks for applying. We have the Six of Pentacles. Like, this is a true love story, I feel. You have on one hand a real true love story, Capricorn. On the other hand, 
or Capricorn cross watchers. And on the other hand, you have something of like a deterring force and energy that is trying to resist you also being brave in this uh, and, and maybe you being the one to reach out. So you're realizing where it is that your shadow is at, where your light is at, what your desires are and what your fears are. And you're separating the two really clearly here for, for yourself so that you can make a decision that actually is going to bring you closure. Maybe it's closure. Maybe you need to reach back out to that person. Hey, like it's really done. Like we're really done. And I don't want this to be, you know, still sort of like on your mind, on my mind like that, like um, four swords in the... Like something that's still, I'm hearing delay, delay. Like you feel maybe you're already late. I'll oh, say it again. Yeah, there's some kind of competition even. Okay. It could even be like in terms of the approach, like someone doesn't know how do they want to approach you, how they want to approach you. Maybe there's even a language barrier for some, not for everybody. So let's get a little bit more. I'm hearing funny. Someone finds you funny. Capricorns tend to have a dry humor. Ace of Pentacles and the world, meaning like kind of sarcastic. People actually generally, if you, it, I mean, it's all subjective, right? But um, I think that people usually tend to find Capricorns more funny than not funny. Like they are at least trying. So we have Fante di Danati, but um, like we say, in a dry way, like more like almost sarcastic, dry humor type. That's not supposed to be offensive, but if it is, you may want to. Think about why and start doing your shadow work. So, okay, we have the eight. No, I'm very, very honest. Some of you, or maybe even you got into an ar argument with this person and you're realizing maybe either that it's not going to work because we're just too different and this person can't maybe also take a joke or you're realizing that um, something maybe needs to be explained for, like maybe even someone was making jokes in place of being serious where they really want to get serious and um, they didn't like the way that they were coming off. Maybe they felt like they weren't being romantic enough with the two of cups, like this person needs to change the way they're hand they're approaching you handling the, yeah return to it can also be that you know for some of you guys this person may be into the opposite gender and they're trying to tell you that maybe in some shape or form or another like hey like i am not actually the person that you think i am i hear that um but they're not saying it outright maybe some of you hear them made jokes about something they were pointing at something but they never like said it uh but yeah there's this moment where um it's like having uh strings still attached and i feel like this is the month where they just kind of want to be brave and say hey you know what maybe actually like we are not going to be a good match okay so the quality Danati, six of cups now this can also be you with your ex like hey i feel like you're still kind of thinking that we may have something here and uh you're gonna make it really clear right there the ace of swords you're gonna say the things that have yet and need to be said king of swords in reverse some of you have maybe legal action maybe you have a stalker and like they're not clicking it oh it's raining very very hard now guys oh my god this is what this is what, isaac stop it it's just rain come here come here, come here. no barking um this is the rain that we alluded to in the Virgo read. It was just barely starting in Virgo's read. It's sort of really coming down in your read, Capricorn. Judgment. If you have Virgo and Capricorn, like a lot of it, then you may decide that for yourself, like maybe the back of your mind you were still thinking, maybe like, maybe I would still be interested in my ex. No, you're gonna decide now, no. And you're gonna really, really make sure that energetically you're not opening still to that space um sometimes we think why is this like why am i attracting this person why is this still happening well because you haven't actually cut the cord okay and look there's a reason for that there's a reason why you have the cord in the first place when it is, is established how it's established where it establishes to your chakra system and also how you detach from that person is not random uh, so people, you know, oh, well, why am I still with the can? Stop thinking about this because you haven't got the cord. You haven't learned the lesson yet to the point where you have cut the cord. No one can cut the cord for you. Uh, the timing is very, very particular in terms of, uh, well, the timing is a very, props off the pond, return to sender and fuck you and fuck off. Someone here doesn't want you to do that. And that's also part of it. You have to understand where's my heart and where is the projected energy of someone else's fear sit at when it comes to why I haven't made the decision um, as, as prominently as I need to in my life. We'll see you in the next video, Kevin. Return to center again. Yes, yeah, some of you really need to um, have organization as you see it, willpower to, um, I am also hearing start again, and, and so that, ha that that comes through in the Virgo reading. Maybe to, again, let's clear the energy. Yeah, someone here is really sort of um, focused on you even, and, and maybe you need to just kind of um, 
do what you need to do to push them back is how I get it. Now, at this point, it's like, okay, um, it's not about like kind of like what's going on here. It's kind of like how I, I am deciding whether or not whatever's going on uh, should be going on at all. You know, and this is about boundaries, Capricorn, okay? And usually you don't have an issue with that, but um, you know, hey, we can all be at a point in some point in our life. It definitely um, is probably uh, signaling something in your birth chart. Probably you have uh, a placement here that, um, return it you feel someone possibly even took advantage of and and um it, you're saying it's up to you to take your energy and your power back